ways I've been driving this train Years in this lane, there's no stopping this flame Cause I came to the game and I changed it to play How I like rearranged it to my own domain Yeah, I got what it takes, made lots of mistakes Taking shots, skipping breaks What's up YouTube? Just wanna uh, come to you with another bike update. Had a few videos on my Marlin here. This is a 2022 Marlin, uh, Marlin 6. Uh, those of you that haven't seen it, I got a video of me changing those tires and going tubeless and showing you how to do it. I just used some Gorilla Tape and uh, it's held up amazing. I haven't had to put air in these tires at all. Uh, another video I did, I shot doing the PWM loan dropper post install, and uh, that's a cool video too. Those will be uh, in the description. But a little bike update, man. I, so the reason I got this bike was to be able to ride around the neighborhood with my wife. Uh, we got some concrete paths around here. We like to ride about 10 miles a day on it. And, so I uh, wanted something for that, but also a mild trail bike. I got some trails around my house that are, uh, you know, you're kind of your cross country trails, not a lot of technical stuff, not a lot of rocks, not a lot of stumps. So that was my purpose of getting this bike, was to be able to do some mild trail riding and then also ride with my wife. And uh, hence, yeah, I got those handlebars on there, those high-rise handlebars. You can see that really uh, <clears throat> some people make fun of me, but they are super comfortable. Uh, I got my bell, got my phone holder, all that stuff. I got my, uh, I forget what they call it. I think they call it the loan lever. From my dropper post but uh man i still love this bike this bike is awesome uh that shimano dior uh drivetrain is just really good you know i mean uh people say it's lower class but i haven't had any issues with it it shifts gears so easy and uh you pull with your index finger to change those gears and then downshift with your thumb and you can downshift up to three gears uh, at once so that's cool but uh, overall I've been super impressed with this bike uh, so I'll be keeping this bike for many years to come updated those tires because the original ones that came on it weren't really good for the riding those trails but uh, they're not super grippy or nothing like that, but uh, that's those Maxxis Recons, and they're 2.35, and uh, I really like those. I just like that skin wall look also, it looked pretty sweet. And I put some new uh, valve stems, you can see that in that tubeless video that I did. I got my, even though I have nothing Fox on this bike, I just love their logo. So I got some Fox stickers on there just to sporty it up and everything. But overall, I love it. Me and my buddy have been really getting after the trails. We've been exploring some new spots. And for those of you in the DFW area, I finally went to North Shore for the first time. I was always kind of scared to go out there by myself and uh, go way out there. And so I wanted to uh, get somebody to, and I wanted to make sure I'm in shape before I go up there and really hit anything crazy. But finally we did it and I took this bike and it did good, but I did notice these wheels uh, are not real beefy. So when you get on those technical spots, it just, uh, it handled them good, but it just felt, didn't feel strong and robust and uh, beefy. My buddy has a Roscoe 6 or something like that. And I rode his with those 27 inch, or uh, 27.5 plus tires on it. And man, his just felt so much more stable. And uh, it just it just felt like it handled the uh, those rocks and stumps better than this. So got me thinking, 
There's some uh, big rocks and stuff like that, and that hardtail is cool, but once you start hitting that bigger stuff, it starts to beat the crap out of you. So, got to look, and I was looking for a Fuel EX5. That has that same uh, Shimano Dior system on it, so I was looking for that, but you can't find any of that stuff. Uh, I was also looking for an EX7 and ex8 there was none in the dfw area i just kept looking and uh finally got this bad boy this is a 2022 stump jumper comp alloy uh i found it at my local bike shop sunrise bikes they're in north richland hills texas man they got mainly specialized stuff but uh really cool shop Went in there and they had just the stump jumper alloy and then he showed me this and it has the uh, uh, SRAM NX drive train on it, which I wanted, I, was, I liked that. Uh, and then I got the Fox shocks on it, Fox 34 rhythms. So those things are nice and then you got the float uh i think it's the fox float uh rear shock and then the front fork was the fox 34 rhythm and really like them and then it's got some really good shram brakes on it the g2s those things are amazing it's got the nice uh Was it the Fusion Manic dropper post on it? You can see all the specs online or whatever. I changed my pedals out, but uh, I wanted a full suspension bike after riding Grapevine North Shore Trail. I was uh, really sold on getting a full suspension bike. And you youngins on here, if you want, if you've never in one and want one, save your money because these things are a little pricey. Save your money, and then once you get that money saved, go and invest that money. Let that money keep growing for you, and then one day you can go uh, buy one of these bikes, or you can ask Santa Claus see if he'll bring it to you. But uh, yeah, it's been a really cool bike, taken out a few times and. It just uh, handles everything really good. So those wheel comparisons, you can kind of see just uh, it's just a beefier tire. The I couldn't find the dimensions on these. I think you can find it online, but uh, you can even see the rim. The rim on this bike is a lot beefier. So when you hit those rocks, you don't feel those rims flexing or anything like that. Now quick add-in on this video uh, talking about the tire size these 2.35s that is the max that I would go on this bike it uh, I'm getting some rubbing action back here and I think it's actually happening I think it's happening right in there you can see there's just not much room to play with so uh, this is about as big as I would go. Only time I get the rubbing action is when I'm in corners or turns or something like that, or when I'm really biting down and pedaling hard. That thing will rub. I can't exactly tell where it's rubbing at, but uh, looking at it now, you can tell there's just not a whole lot of room in there. So if you are thinking about upgrading these Marlin tires, uh, which I still recommend. Uh, just be aware of that. Remember, these are 2.35s, 20 by 29s. But uh, just keep that in mind before you upgrade to anything bigger, because they will rub. I will keep riding this on those uh, smoother trails, those cross country trails in River Legacy Park, is what it's called. But uh, that bike is awesome out there. So I will keep taking that Marlin out there. Uh, it's funny, when I went in to buy this, you hear people, uh, they kind of laugh or chuckle when you say you got a Marlin. But man, 
there is nothing to chuckle about with this bike. I freaking love this bike. It's a uh, really good quality. Looks freaking badass. And uh, it just rides nice, man. I really enjoy it. But uh, this is nice too. It's, it's just not, it handles those trails just freaking awesome. So that's why I wanted to do that. Probably, probably gonna make fun of me. I'm gonna ride, get some riser bars for this one too. I just like that more upright position. And people say it messes with the geometry, but when I take that, I can take that up some real steep hills with those uh, riser bars. And uh, man, I can keep that front, supposedly if you raise those bars, the front end becomes light when you climb up those hills, but I don't know. It, it, I can climb up those hills no problem with it trying to come over on me, so. Guys, the closing, uh, I just wanted to do another video. I've done a few videos on this bike and uh, truly enjoyed it. It's a great bike for even considering getting one of these. Do it, man. Uh, I really like this bike. Uh, if you are going to go out to those real technical trails and stuff, maybe upgrade the rims and uh, put those tires on it. But really, you don't even need to do that. I just... Uh, I felt like I needed something a little more uh, squishy and get older. I wanted uh, something a little less tough on me. So I uh, went and got this bad boy and uh, taking it out about five times now and it's awesome. Only bad thing about this bike is I keep getting pedal strikes every once in a while. So I need to uh, maybe put a little more air in that rear shock and uh, maybe that'll fix that. But. Uh, Curious. But uh, yeah, that's it. If you like the video, comment, like, subscribe my channel. I try to do some kind of video every now and then. It's not strictly mountain bike. I do uh, DIY stuff. Uh, and uh, I was gonna do a new bike video on this thing after I've ridden it a few times and get my upgrade taken care of. But upgrade those handlebars. Y'all are probably gonna hate it. But uh, pretty sick. They're gonna be gold handlebars. And they're 60 mil rise on it. So we'll see what that looks like. Uh, I may end up putting some of these tires, these skin wall tires on this thing. I just think it'll look cool. And you never know. One day you might see a kickstand on this full suspension bike. So anyways, y'all take care. Thanks for watching.